What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. Somewhere in that camper is my wife Marissa. We've been traveling in our four wheel drive truck camper all around the country, Mexico and Canada over the last two and a half years. Today, we're going to be taking you on an awesome trip to Key West, Florida to show you how you can get accommodations there sometimes for free. But also we're gonna take you to the most expensive campground that we've ever been to in our entire lives. Stay tuned, here we go. I want a pulp free version. It's delicious. I don't know what he's talking about. Fresh squeezed juices are always the best in cocktails. We spent last night at a free campsite that I was able to score off of Facebook. It was a Key West Facebook group. I just made a post asking if somebody knew where I would be able to stay in Key West uh, before we have our stay at the campground for the next two nights. Uh, the campground was currently booked and didn't have any availability. So I was doing whatever I could to try to get another spot to stay at. And I asked somebody, or I made a post in the group actually, asking if somebody had any recommendations and within a matter of minutes somebody sent me their number and I gave them a call and I was able to get a free accommodation but uh, we're on our way to the campground so that we can show you the most expensive campground that we've ever stayed at. This is the brother of the property that we're staying at on Facebook giving me a tour. I just give them all away. I'm keeping I got bananas, mangoes back there. This is my kitchen and my cooking station. This is my bird, Bappy. Bappy! Say hi, Baba. Say hi, Baba. Hi. Hi. Bappy. Say hello. And this is my little girl. She's always scared. And what's her name? Nina. Nina? Hi, Nina. 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 That's my son. He comes this way. He's Hi, honey. That's my boy. Hi, say hi to the camera. <laughs> He's always happy. Oh, they're so cute. But she, that's the rooster. He makes so much noise. But up there in the lamps, they have a nest. Ah. This here, my brother built. Because I don't know how he does it. But this is. Hi, no, I'm jealous. He's so worried about his ankle, but. And this, this is my brother built this, and this is uh, our stone crab and fully netting for getting lobsters. Oh, nice. We got lights coming down here, but we still got the, the traps. When we come from vacation, we got to get stone crab. We get so much stone crabs. Oh, wow. It's the most expensive. This is my big mango tree. This is this. No mangoes currently. Not yet. So June. In June. June. How about this big? They're beautiful. Wow. This is my generator here. Sponges? Yeah, the, the fishermen's. Yeah. Fish them. They bring them and they buy them. For, and for every, what? Every, uh, once a month, $70,000 they buy. Nina, what? she says it's bargain. What are the sponges for? That's what you take a bath with. With this? This is the stuff they make the sponges. It comes out of the ocean and they take it to uh, Acme Sponge Company. Wow. Look, look. You can take one if you want. Yeah, take one. It, it's, it, I take a bath with this. The whole thing? This no, I, cu I cut a piece because it goes to a factory and they make it into pieces and that's when you get the color sponges and all those sponges Do that you, you get from the market. you have an extra one? No, you can take one. Are you take sure? A yeah, no problem. Thank get the soft one, the female. See how soft? But if you cut a piece, Thank you take you. a shower, it's... 
I will do it today. That's the same thing that I got over there. I can't wait to take a bath with my new sponge. Yeah, okay, let's go this way. Let's check out. All right, seventy thousand dollars worth of sponges. Now big wow. semi comes here. So that's where we parked our truck those last two, night. Those two, uh, so last night after we got here, we just went to the hogfish bar and grill down the road. Took a nice walk there. The temperatures here in QS are perfect for being outside, so had their famous hogfish sandwich. It was delicious. I spilled half of it everywhere. It was huge. Marissa got seared ahi nachos. Then we just came back to the camper and hung out before today, where we're gonna be taking you to the most expensive campsite we've ever stayed at. Key West, there's a premium for campgrounds here. There's very few of them, and so they've definitely got a stronghold on what they can charge. We'll tell you at the end of this video just how much we paid for the campground per night. We were only staying two nights, but it is New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so there's a holiday premium. Thankfully, this free night stay kind of helped offset that. Got us into Key West a day early, which is honestly a blessing because the traffic yesterday was horrible. Now, because we're already down here, we're gonna be able to check into our campground early rather than arriving super late like we would have yesterday. So let's go check the campground out. Thank you very much. I need your ID and the card you made that reservation with. Put that on your rear view mirror. Okay. You taking it, the topper off no. the truck? No. Okay, we are concierge for scooters and street legal golf carts that you can drive the five miles into Key West. Just information for you. Okay. He brings them right to your site. Nice big site. Sweet. You can throw a party there. She All right. for like a 45 foot or so. Oh, wow. Thank you All right. so much. Exciting. I appreciate it. You Thank you. If anything, let us know. No, Happy New Year. Happy All right, New Year. Happy so New Year. So this is our home for the next two nights. Right on the water. New Year's Eve tonight should be a good one. It's a lot of cords. Oh. <laughs> we don't have an adapter. I guarantee we can find one. I bet you they have one up front. Well, more toys to own. We'll see if they got one. 12 seconds later. All right, that was easy. The store had exactly what we needed to convert from 30 to 20. Let's see if we got power. Yep. We got juice. We got the juice. You can tell Marissa's cooking bacon in here. You can smell it outside the camper. I was actually saying to myself, I'm like, oh man, whoever's making bacon, I don't want to be around that smell. It smells so good. Turned out it was in my own camper that it was coming from. friendly French people. <laughs> I wasn't gonna call them out on being French, but they were unfriendly Frenchies. It's the truth. It's the truth. Killing me. It's New Year's. I'm eating bread. 
I'm thinking we probably should have backed in now that I look at the site a little bit better. I feel like I can get us a really nice view and some better solar exposure, some better Starlink exposure. So we're gonna do a 180 on this big boy. <laughs> This is gonna have a much better view. I'm confident. All right, so these views are way better. We did have to push ourselves super deep into the campsite, but check these views out. Pretty sweet. So we're here at Boyd's campground. It's one of a handful of campgrounds in Key West. Marissa was able to get this spot with what, about a week notice yeah, or so? So not bad for a holiday weekend in terms of availability. So there is a price difference because of the fact that it's a weekend slash holiday, but without question, way more expensive than we've spent on probably a campground ever even including like longer stays. Yeah, and it's only for two nights, which is wild. So we've been just kind of hanging out, sunning ourselves, enjoying the beautiful weather of Florida here. Marissa made us a nice little chartreuse board. I always get that name word wrong. Gonna do some snacks and keep hanging out here, enjoying this super nice campsite and milking it for every dollar it's worth. Looks like caviar on the top of it. A few moments later. So these folks pulled in next to us, super nice people. They've got a big old motor home, right? So it changes the view a little bit out of one side, but because our bathroom is in the middle of the camper, we've got this huge view out the rear. If our bathroom were in the rear, typically it's in the back driver's side corner of the rig. And then oftentimes your fridge is in the back passenger side corner. So you're left with only windows on the side, which if we had that, we'd have nothing but a view of these folks' motorhome or the boat ramp. So while we're here at the most expensive campground we've ever stayed at, I'm gonna show you guys the shower setup here. I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty sweet. So overall, I'd give it an eight out of 10. Pretty nice shower. Hi, how are you? Ready? Yes. Thank you. Had a nice night in Duval Street last night. Got back here just before the New Year's Eve midnight and tried to sleep, but 
I had drank way too much coffee in order to go out for me to sleep, so it's a rough morning, but not because of overindulgence of alcohol. I was going to go lay in the hammock, but our very nice new neighbors are literally right there. And I'm not sure I have the enthusiasm for a big old conversation at this point in the morning, but I want to be outside where it's beautiful and nice, so... Let's force ourselves to go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, du Duval Street felt very safe. Yeah. It's been a while since I used this hammock. But every time I do, I'm super glad to have it. It's so fast and convenient and comfortable. It's definitely the best place to drink your coffee. Here is a breakfast charcuterie board. All right. Marissa's doing a great job at making yummy snacks for us on this little camping trip here. I did the healthy version. Cucumber, cream cheese, tomato, salmon, onion, and everything with the bagel seasoning. I don't know what you did on yours. Similar but with a cracker. No cucumber. Look at the size of this thing. Mmm. 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 Grab some sriracha to put on the top of it. So good. So I decided before I tan the dad bod we're gonna give this thing another wash marissa washed it the other day and it came out pretty good but it's been so dirty that it could really use a second washing I'm gonna give it a bath Marissa went to go find out about public transportation to go downtown and came back with a rental scooter for the day. And now we're gonna go back downtown. Gotta finish up washing this truck and then we'll pack it up and take this bad boy for a ride. Scooter time. Should be fun. Scooter is $55 for a 24 hour rental and they bring it to you and pick it up. We didn't have to do much work. Vroom, vroom, baby. Thanks. Hi, all. We're on our way back from Duval Street and a whole bunch of Key West, chilling on our moped and just trying to stay warm and get home safely. Good morning. Day two waking up here at Boyd's campground. 
we are going to do some prep work to get out of here as we have an 11 a.m. checkout. But we want to ride this big steed a little bit more. So we're going to pack up and then get back on the scooter and go cruising around Key West for a little. so much fun on our scooter that we kind of lost track of time and now we need to rush to get checked out of Boyd's here before 11 o'clock. We've only got 10 minutes to spare. Moving fast. So now that we've left the Keys, let's go over how much did we spend at the most expensive campground we've ever been to strictly on lodging fees. One night, the holiday evening, $220. The next night, non-holiday, $205. With some taxes and everything like that, came to a grand total of $478 and 13 cents. Easily the most expensive campground we've ever been to, but totally worth it given the experiential value of going to Key West. It's a hard place to stay for very long for free, although we did it for one night as you saw. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications. We'll be back for more soon. We're taking you guys to Big Cypress National Preserve where we go camping with gators.